for today's video on my channel, I'm sharing with you guys 10 DIY IKEA hacks. I know you guys are super excited and love IKEA, so I wanted to share more fun, affordable DIY projects for you guys on this channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, as well as turn on that little notification bell so you are notified when I upload. I'll have everything I used in this video linked in the description box down below for you guys, and let's jump right into it. For this first IKEA hack, you're going to need some reclaimed wood pieces, a hot glue gun, measuring tape, as well as either a handsaw or a regular saw, and then you are going to need a IKEA mirror, and we are going to be creating a reclaimed wood mirror very easily. So you're going to start off by taking two pieces of the reclaimed wood. You want to line those two pieces up and then take your measuring tape. I believe it measures for this particular mirror 16 inches across, so that is what we're doing and I'm just drawing like a line in the wood using my handsaw and that is just going to give me a designated line that I'm going to be using as far as cutting those off so that's pretty much all you have to do is cut the pieces there and then I'm using some extra strength hot glue and I'm just putting some on just the top layer of this mirror and gluing on the reclaimed wood piece you're also going to repeat this process on the bottom as well and then you are all done with your new reclaimed wood mirror I absolutely love the way this turned out just made a simple Ikea mirror looks so much more expensive. For Ikea hack number two, we're just using this solar lantern and also some macrame cording as well as a pair of scissors and lastly a hot glue gun. And basically what we are going to do is take our little solar lantern and I'm just measuring macrame cord going across and that is going to be the length that I'm using. So I'm cutting out a ton of pieces. You probably need honestly about 50 of these pieces and then I'm just hot gluing them on to the inner ring of the lantern as you see here just repeating that process until it is all full all the way around it does take a little bit of time to complete this but the outcome is really nice so just make sure you're also not hot gluing the other side of the lantern to the macrame pieces because that could cause a little bit of a problem but it's super simple and then after that I just went ahead and steamed the macrame pieces because sometimes they are a little flipped at the end from being on a spool for so long but after you're done you have this really fun hanging macrame lantern and you still have the solar light so this would be really fun outside as well. Moving on to the next hack, I thought it would be fun to make a outdoor table for my balcony. So I just got this plain IKEA table. It was super simple to put together. You literally just add three screws into it and then lastly you just take the top and set it on the top of the little stand and I got a mirror off of Amazon that almost fit perfectly in the middle here so I just secured that and then to hold it all in place I just got this really thick rope from my local craft store and I decided to just hot glue it on to all of the edges kind of makes it a little bit of a nautical theme as well as goes in with the kind of outdoor vibe that I was going for Again, a super simple way to spice up a plain table. This table is also available in white or you could always spray paint it to match whatever your style is. To go along with that outdoor table, I also wanted to create some sort of outdoor plant or flower that I could use as a decorative piece. So I just found this little water jug as well as some faux leaves from Ikea. And lastly, I am using some quick water. If you guys have watched my channel, you guys know I'm a huge fan of quick water. Super simple, you just follow the instructions. It's a clear resin. So for this particular brand, you mix part B with part A, and then you are gonna go in and stir it. This part is really all just personal preference if you'd like more or less bubbles you can continue to stir the mixture I set a timer for 15 minutes because I wanted it to set a little bit simply because the leaves that I'm using were so large so after 15 minutes that's when I went ahead and added in these faux leaves to the resin and you want to do this really carefully and make sure that they are positioned how you want them to be because that is how they will dry and now I have this fun little IKEA hack set up for my outdoor patio that I'm super, super excited about. It was very affordable, and I think this is gonna be great for the warmer months. 
This next little DIY project is very Gucci inspired. If you were unaware, Gucci actually does make home decor, but it's really expensive. So we're gonna do that here on a budget. One of my favorite Ikea hacks is just using some hot glue or any type of glue and gluing two pieces together that normally wouldn't go together. It's super simple. So all we're doing here is just taking this little trinket box as well as this little snail from the new Ikea collection and we're just gonna hot glue that right onto the top. It's just going to spice up this plain little trinket dish that we have here and again the whole insect thing is very Gucci inspired. Another thing you could do to spice this up even further is you could add some stained glass if you wanted to create some sort of color with this piece as well as spray paint your little snail. I am a huge a fan of anthropology, but I'm not always a fan of the pricing. I fell in love with this new arrival they had, but it was a couple hundred dollars, so I decided to just use an IKEA placemat as well as some yarn and a pair of scissors to recreate it as best as I could. So here I'm just measuring out the yarn, and you want to fold it in half to create your lengths, and I'm just cutting off pieces of that exact desired length that I have there. Once you've cut enough of those pieces, you're just going to attach them to the bottom. And it's a little tricky, but you just push the yarn through the little openings as you can find them. And I just did this all across the bottom layer. It does take a little bit of time because sometimes this little wood pieces can be a little stubborn, but if you're patient and you just add all the yarn, it looks great. So here I'm just combing it through and cutting off the ends just to make it a little bit more of the same length all the way through but that is it you are all done with your new wall hanging absolutely love the way this turned out as well as the price was way better Moving on to yet again another very simple Ikea hack. I absolutely love these candlestick holders from Ikea, but I'm not a fan of the type of candles that go in them. So I just decided to pick up a very affordable vase, also from the newer Ikea collection. And all I simply did was secure it with hot glue to the top of the candlestick holder. And here I'm just creating like a base on a little pedestal. Super, super simple. You could also even glue different candles on top of these little pedestals if you wanted to. I just added in a little flower and I just love this decor piece. Also sitting next to it is another fun Ikea hack I just kind of created. Put a candle in a measuring glass and you are all done. For this next DIY, you're going to need some faux plants, a hook as well as bases that are from Ikea, some twine, as well as a screwdriver and screws. The one thing that I do say bothers me about Ikea is none of these hooks that they sell come with the screws, so you do have to get those separately on your own. Keep that in mind. So I just screwed that onto the wall as well as tied some of this twine onto the top of the bases, and then I looped it at the top after I kind of secured it with a little bit of hot glue. And you're just gonna repeat that for both bases. And after that, you can add in like real flowers, but I just had these random leaves from the dollar store hanging around. So after that, I just decided to put both of those in the glass vases and then you hang them from the hook. I like to do this in different layers. I just think it looks really cute hanging from the wall a really fun piece of decor or something to add into a smaller space that you just didn't know how to decorate it. This next IKEA hack I learned about a year ago basically by accident. So I was trying to just dye this famous IKEA pillow a solid color and it turned out looking very vintage and I absolutely loved it. So here I'm just creating little bunches. Now we're not trying to make this tie dye, we're just trying to make the pillow appear worn or very vintage which is a trend that's really in right now with the rugs so I just added some hair ties here again it doesn't have to be perfect at all next you're going to need some hot water in some sort of bucket and here I'm just adding in a whole packet of the writ dye you're gonna go ahead and stir that mixture up a little bit until all of that powder has dissolved and then what I do is I simply just dunk the pillowcase into that mixture one time that is it and I only let it sit in here for about an hour that is the desired time if you're trying to make it look very vintage as well as you will see in the next clips when it's all done have all of the coloring so again just let that sit in there for about an hour and let the water cool and then what I do is I like to rinse out any of the excess dye 
and then I will put it in the washing machine on the hand wash with no soap and then put it in the dryer. And as you can see here, it just turns out looking like very vintage, almost like bleach was spilled on it in areas and there's just a ton of different colors and it almost makes it appear like there's different textures to it. It's a fun little twist on one of Ikea's classic pillowcases. I've been eyeing these little corkboard containers from Ikea for a while now and I was able to stumble upon one from the as is section for a dollar. I thought it was super plain so I brought it home and just spiced it up by hot gluing on some of these little mosaic mirror tiles that you can get from your local craft store. However, I think this would look so pretty if you kind of stenciled on with some paint some sort of design or you can put your initials on it. This is something that you can totally have fun with and get super creative and just add something that speaks to you onto it just to spice it up and here I just used it to hold some of my essential oils. So those were my 10 DIY IKEA hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you recreate any of them, I would love for you to send them to me on Instagram. My Instagram is just my first name, at Nastasia. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!